Hello Launch Cart users. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can create custom pages and also edit your navigation buttons for your online e-commerce store using Launch Cart. So let's get into it. I'm signed into my Launch Cart admin panel and I'm under Appearance Pages right now. And I'm going to create two pages. I'm going to create a custom About Us page and I'm going to create another page. So let's create the first one. I'm going to click Add New. And this time I'm going to give this a page title of About Us. And I'm going to give this uh, just some text in here. You can add photos and customize this a lot more, but to keep this short, I'm going to leave it as is. If we scroll down, here's the URL for this. If I wanted to change that URL, I could change that. I could also change the search engine optimization options. This is what gets shown to the search engines, so I can do that here. Now, since this is an example, I'm just going to run through this really fast. So there's About Us. You can see it's up here. And now let's add one more page and we'll call this one coupons. Okay. And let's say maybe this page you were going to list specific coupons for sale. You could do that here and you could say, hey, you know, congratulations, it's the holidays and, you know, use this coupon as your shopping. Whatever you wanted to do. Maybe you're creating a page and you're explaining your story or how you got started, you could do that here. So you put in your page contents there, same thing, you can edit your URL, edit your SEO data, and then hit submit. So we've created two pages, except nobody can really see these yet, and let me explain why. If we click up here to view our store, this will take us to a live preview of our store, you can see that here's our store, here's our, uh, our homepage, and the only buttons we have in our navigation panel our shop because that's the default one that comes with your store but we don't have any links to those other pages we just created so we'll need to go add those now so let's go back now that we've added a few pages let's go to our menus button down here and now we're going to edit that navigation menu and link to those newly created pages so to do this really simple click add new now it's going to say what is the title of this button and we're going to say about us so we're just going to mirror the page title. And then we're going to uh, choose a menu item type. So we have a whole bunch of options here, and let me explain how this works. We have system links, and we have dynamic links. System links are things that kind of come with your uh, store by default. So we have your home page, your shop page, and your contact us page. These come already installed on your store. And then we have dynamic links, and these can change, uh, and they're dynamic. So we can link to a particular page, which is what we, what we want to do now. We can also link to a certain category. We can link to a certain product. Or we could link to a custom URL that is anything. I mean, you could link to eBay. You could link to your own website. You could link anywhere you wanted to. But for this example, we want to link to that page we created. So we're going to choose the page option. And then it's going to ask us, well, what page do you want to link to? And we are going to choose the About Us page. There we go. And we're going to hit Submit. So now that page has been added to our store. There's nothing else to do. Let's go ahead and view our store one more time and watch what just happened. Okay, so if you look up here, you can see that we have a new link in our navigation panel called About Us. So that's really cool. Let's go back and we can also drag and drop this in different orders. So maybe we want the About Us to show up first. Maybe we want to put it below. Maybe we want to add that other page that we created here as well. We can do that. Simply click Add New. And then let's put in the other one. Oh, and that one was called Coupons. We're going to choose Page. And we're going to choose the Coupons page and hit Submit. All right, so let's just keep adding a few more pages here. It's kind of fun, and we'll show you what else you can do. Let's say you turned on your home page under your theme editor and you want to link to your home page on your navigation menu. Well, we can do that here as well. Simply uh, choose System Links Home Page and hit Submit. And now people can get back to our home page. And let's add a few more here just so you can see the full functionality because we have a whole bunch of different options here. Um, let's say we want to link to our Contact Us page. That seems pretty helpful, right? We'll put in Contact Us for the button and we'll hit Submit. And let's just keep going here. While I got you, we might as well go ahead and use a few more options. Let's say we, we, we wanted to link directly to a product. We could do that here. We select product, and then we select the actual product. And here's all the available products that we've added to our store. So we could link right to the backpack, and we could call this one 
you know, the awesome backpack product. Oops, spelled that wrong. There we go. And hit submit. So there you go. There's a few different options and we could keep going. Another option we could do is a category. So we would choose category and then we would choose from our existing categories that we have here. So I have a few different categories. I have my men's category and we could put in, you know, men's category up here and we hit submit. So I just want to show you the full capability of this. Let's go ahead and preview our store now and click on the view your store link and check it out. Here is our customized navigation panel up here. And uh, it's totally up to you how you want to do this. You can add as many as you want. You can only add a few and then you can rearrange them. So what I like to do is I always like to put my home page at the very top. That's a pretty standard placement. My shop page is usually next. And I usually put these in order of where I want people to click because that's typically how visitors will browse your site. So home page, shop, Maybe I want to put in my awesome backpack because maybe that's a high converting product and I want a lot of people to see it. Maybe I want to put in my men's category here. And probably the last thing that I want is my contact us page. And maybe I put my about us below that and I keep that coupon page above there. So that's typically how I would lay out my navigation page. And let's see, other than that, what else can I tell you in this video? Well, I will say this, I forgot to tell you about this. If we go back to pages, when you create a page, so let's call this one, we'll just call it private. Okay, let's put in some content in here. And we'll put in some content in here and we'll hit submit. So I created this page. And you'll remember at the start of this video, I said that when you create a page, nobody's really going to see it because it hasn't been assigned to the navigation. You may want that. Maybe you want to create a private page or a page that... Uh, you know, most people don't need to see right away. Well, that's okay because even though we haven't added this page to a navigation, it's actually still on the website and it's still publicly available. All you have to do is know the URL. So if we click over here to view page, this will open up this page in our browser and we can view the URL of this product, copy it, and send it to people. So maybe you do want to create a semi-private page. Once again, it's still public but it's only public if you knew the URL. So unless you were linking to this page somewhere or handing it out somewhere, but it's not gonna be in your navigation panel unless you add it. So that is about it for pages and menus. Let's go on to the next video.